Stockwell is a retail technology company. We're based in the San Francisco Bay Area. We currently build and operate these next generation vending machines we call smart stores. Right now we're in four markets in the United States and we have over 1,000 stores live. And they're across different types of buildings. You'll find them in offices, you'll find them in apartment buildings, you'll find them in colleges, and you'll find them in hotels and other locations. Our mission is to bring retail to where people already are. To bring a relevant slice of a store with the products people need and want in that location and to make it a frictionless curated shopping experience. Right now, you open the store with an app on our phone, single touch, you set up an account one time, touch up a button on your phone, we'll unlock the store. And there you can feel free to shop just like any other brick and mortar location. We're tracking everything with computer vision. So when you shut those doors, we send that up to the cloud, where machine learning will process that transaction, put your receipt back to your phone. Right now, we're continuing to look at opportunities to scale the company. Right now, we own and operate everything. So from the actual fulfillment of the products, to onboarding, to deliveries, to maintenance, we do everything end to end. We're going to continue to grow that business, but we're also looking for opportunities now to allow other people to run our stores. So that's a lot of the conversations we're having here and excited to grow the company. How is it about scaling? When you do everything, scaling might be... Slower. Huh? Well, when you're doing everything, it's, just, it's a little slower of a motion, right? So like, if you're for us to expand, like, yeah, we have to, there's warehouses and drivers, lots of inputs and costs, yeah. which is working really well for us. Yeah. And I think especially opening new verticals, like right now I'm super excited to buy hotels, looking for more integrations for how people can access the stores easily. There's a lot of really cool things happening, but I think this opportunity for other people, we've always had this vision that we would ultimately get it right, do it ourselves, you know, and now we have almost 1,200 stores live, and we're doing it ourselves. The opportunity to allow other people to basically take advantage of our hardware and our technology to sell their own products. How would you scale it if you go to other countries or something like you need to do the partners? Exactly. Yeah, so this, this is the Southwell Smart Store. And basically, you unlock it with a touch of a button on your phone. There's a unique ID for each store. Some people have one where they live, where they work, where they play. You press open the store and that will unlock it. Now it's tied to my specific account and a payment method. When I open the door, I can start shopping. I can take things in and out. Everything is being tracked by some discrete cameras inside the store. So I can even put things back, no problem at all. Once you're done, take the item you want and you can shut the door. When you shut the door, the transaction's complete and then we send that up to the cloud where the transaction's processed and pushed back to the phone. The cool thing about us as well is you have an open shelf design, so we sell a wide variety of products. We're not limited in sort of size and shape. Everything is built around a modular shelf technology, so we can sell anything from small electronics to household items to beverages and snacks. This is also something which you can imagine on merchandising on the, for example, if you have context-based services like in a sports event or something like that, when people leave and just take stuff out, because it focuses on uh, um, everyday products, right? I think so. I mean, I think ultimately it's around what people want in that location, right? Bringing yeah. retail to where it's not already yeah. and figuring out what the right product like right now we do a lot you know a lot of sort of cpg food bev yeah. um impulse buys things like that but i think it could be anything i think it's about figuring out what those are right right now even our product selections from an apartment to an office they do vary